So judging by the thumbnail and the title of this video, you want to know how to get the best recording settings for your videos so that you can upload them to YouTube and have a bunch and have your content look as amazing as you can possibly think of. And I'm going to teach you guys, uh, teach you guys the best OBS settings that will definitely give you the best, the best visuals for when you upload it to YouTube. But keep in mind, there is this thing, there is this thing I want to let you guys know. It's called a, it's a thing YouTube has. They have these things called codecs, right? So let me ask you this. Have you ever clicked on the start recording button and you reviewed the footage in your files and you, the video you saw just looked really nice, but when you uploaded it to YouTube, it looked ugly. That's probably because you got one of the weaker codecs that YouTube usually offers. And you might be in, uh, what is a codec you might be asking? Let me show you. I have two different videos here of mine on my YouTube that should show you what these codecs are. So basically this video right here was a 1080p 60fps video. And if you right click the main, the, the video and click on stats for nerds, you'll see up here that there's, that this video was made with the codec AVC1. And that is usually one of YouTube's weaker compressors. So it makes your videos look like look horrible when you upload it to YouTube. So if you got the AVC one codec or if it just says AVC in any way, then that just means you're you got the worst codec and that's why your video looks ugly. But I got a video over here that was exported as 1440p and if i right click it there's this thing called vp09 codec this one is way better than abc and and if you check out this video officially and not in my recording you'll see that it actually looks really nice compared to this one if you also look it up these videos have a huge difference in visual qualities because of the codec and with these setting and with these obs settings i'm about to show you you will be able to get that vp09 codec yourself so if you already have a lot of subscribers, then you probably don't need the need to do 1440p recordings. You could just do 1080p, but you don't you don't even need to record in 1440p. You could just export it as 1440p so that you can have so that if you don't have a very good graphics card, but it's good enough to record probably in 1080 then I can teach you a trick to just let it export in 1440p. So check this out. So first we're going to go to we're going to go to the settings here and we're also going to bring up this little bitrate options so these will help you a lot for your videos so let's go back to obs here so first of all we're going to go to the video tab over here make sure everything so if you want the vp09 codec then do this so your video so your thing will probably say something like this uh, say something like this so you want to so what you usually want to do is you want to change the base canvas resolution to 1920x1080 and then you want to change the output scaled resolution you, you have to type this up yourself if you don't have a 1440p monitor. You'll have to do this yourself. So either, so type in this, 2560x1440. This will give you a 1440p recording, but like it records in 1080p, but it exports as 1440p. So it's not going to affect any lag or anything. You'll still have the same uh 1080p kind of like visuals but exported it in 1440p so that you can have 1080p videos look really nice instead of looking ugly and then we want to change the downscale filter to 36 samples and make sure fps is on 60. so this is good and then we'll just click apply and now if we go over to the output tab which your your thing will probably say simple like this you want to change the output mode to advanced so if we go back here so this is bitrate for streaming. We don't need to worry about the codecs for these because it doesn't matter. Streaming will just look ugly anyways, and it's just something you uh, have to deal with. I mean, I'm okay with it. I don't have nothing. I have nothing to complain. But they these usually these look nice if you have a pretty good uh, internet. So currently this says resolution, bitrate, and max bitrate. So 1080p, 60 FPS, four four five hundred, and nine thousand max bitrate. So if we go back to OBS and we're on the streaming tab up here. You want to make sure this encoder is on NVIDIA Navank. If you don't have this option, then you probably have to find another tutorial for OBS. So, so we're just going to click that. And you want to make sure your rate control is on VBR. You change it to that. Change the bitrate to 4500 and then change the max bitrate to 9000. Keyframe interval to 2. So for preset, you can either do quality, performance, or max performance. It depends on what you want. 
I like to stick with quality because my internet can handle it. So, and then now you want to make sure the rest looks like this. Look ahead is off, cycle visual on, GPU zero, max B frames two. Make sure everything looks like this and then you're good to go for streaming. Your streaming should look good. But if your internet is not good, then don't ever wor worry about streaming. We'll just move on over to recording. So we're going to recording. You want to also make sure this is on the video in the Recording format is on MP4. And now we'll just go back to Steam and check out the recording section. So right here, this is the bitrate settings for recordings. So we see a 1080p 60fps bitrate right here. So it says 3000. So now that we know that, we want to change this right here. We want to put three zero and then three more zeros. So three zero, one, two, three, and zeros. So it looks like this. CBR, this much kilobytes, and then keyframe two, max quality, high, turn off, turn on, GPU zero, max B, B frames two, and apply. And you are good to go. So if you have all your settings like this, but your video but your output scaled is on 1440p then you will be able to upload your videos in 1080p resolution but it will export as 1440p so you'll most likely get that vp09 codec so make so yeah test this out for yourself and see if the recording looks really nice if the recording starts lagging then your pc probably just probably can't handle the recording but if you have a decent gaming computer or laptop then this should work out just fine and so now that we got OBS settings in the uh, in the bag, we're, I want to teach you guys another trick about bitrate settings. So if you're if you if you want to also edit your videos, I would recommend using this software called DaVinci Resolve, which basically which basically is a free editor that is almost similar to Premiere Pro. It's just it's just a very high advanced editor, and it does so much just for in it for for it being free. I'll put a link in the description for it if you want to get it yourself. I've always been using this and it's so good. It's such a good software. So what I like to do is I just like to scroll. I just like to click on this YouTube 1080p and then I go back to custom just because it just fixes settings for me. So to get the, so if you're using an editor after the recording, we're going to, we need to change these resolutions and stuff. So format MP4, codec H264. All that all this has to be like this. You gotta click YouTube 1080p and then go back and it should just do it automatically for you. So resolution, we wanna click that and click custom, and we wanna change this to 2560 and then change this to 1440. And then everything's like that. And then you wanna make sure the bit rate right here is on restrict to this, and then we wanna change it to just like OBS. Three zero 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 zero. So three zero and then three more zeros, just like that and you're good to go 60 fps this three blah 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 everything's all good you could click add to render queue and then click render all upload this to youtube and test it out and tell me if this helped you or not so that is basically all i got for you guys i hope this tutorial helped you and i would greatly appreciate if you guys could leave a like you could also comment if you have any questions subscribe please hit the bell icon for more notifications every time I upload, and I will see you guys next time. See you later.